Hello, this is with Bolock, and what I have for this video is two um pretty much identical locks, although I do think they are differently keyed. Um, the reason I purchased these was for locking up a gun case for traveling uh, out to Wyoming. I believe it was. Yep, I flew out there, and so. Uh, in order to pass TSA, I uh, needed to go ahead and lock up my gun case. So, did that. They were okay with these locks, even though they're not labeled TSA. And uh, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and get these guys picked. I will go ahead and uh, do one then the other, obviously. Okay. Opens. So, for both of them, we will use the same bottom of the keyway tensioner with a little bit of uh, springiness going on over here, some springy goodness. A lot of times I don't use that kind, but for some reason, for these locks, it seems to provide the best feedback. And uh, this 25,000 sparrows hook. I can get a good view of it there. Okay, let's see what it takes to get this guy picked up. Go on to the back like I always do, and I'll let you know how I'm doing. Get a click. I got a little click. And we are open. Alright, so that was the first of the two. Go ahead and let off tension. Okay. So that is the first one down. Alright, now number two. You can use the same tensioner. And the same hook. Alright. Back like I want to do, and just kind of work my way to the front. A couple of clicks there. A pretty decent click and some core movement. I might have overset a pin or two, and this occasionally happens um, where it'll uh, go on to the warding there. So just reset the tensioner, no big deal. And continue on your merry way. Okay. So, out of the back. Yeah, a little click there, a little bit of a core turn. Another click, a little bit more core turn. Right the back. And we are open. All right. So, let's show you the cores turned over. Go ahead and loosen that up. That one caught a little bit on the warding there, but I was able to get it open. So, that is those two locks. Go ahead and open. All right. 